U.S. officials are keeping a very close eye on the resurging Shining Path gorillas that have recently reappeared in Peru. However, according to cables released by WikiLeaks, United States officials believe that the Peruvian government is too incompetent to combat them effectively. Right now, the new Shining Path is estimated to be about 2,000 fighters, most of whom don't even have any weapons. The United States' concern, however, is that Peruvian generals are too busy trying to enrich themselves through corruption than to actually effectively fight the Maoist movement. As you may remember, the Shining Path, or Sendero Luminoso, was a guerrilla movement that began in the 1980s in the Andes as a response to the devastation that had gone through Peru as a result of economic instabilities. You know, also remember that they were defeated in the the early 1990s. Now, the resurgence of this group is very much to be expected what with the devastation that's been brought on by neoliberalism and most definitely the global economic recession. According to a cable released in November 2009, Peruvian President Alan Garcia paid $9 million to retired Israeli Brigadier General Ziv, that's his name, they paid him $9 million to help combat the resurging Maoist guerrilla movement. The cables reveal that Ziv plans to create his own special forces unit that are supposed to be capable of capturing or killing the leaders of the new Shining Path movement. Another cable said that military experts in Peru have been telling the U.S. Embassy that the new Shining Path guerrillas have been using more sophisticated techniques, including electronic detonators and remote control devices, to detonate IEDs in the current conflict that exists. Right now, it's not clear what the main objectives of the Shining Path movement are. They don't seem to be operating in the same way that the previous one did. Now, right now, there's very little to no information on their structure, uh, their sought goals, or what their plans are for doing whatever it is that they're planning to do. So right now, everything's really all up in the air, and it's not really confirmed 100% that they are Maoists now as they were back then. But it's most certainly something that the U.S. is worried about. They've been worried about a backlash against the global economic recession in Latin America, and this may be... An, Aside from the actions of Hugo Chavez, this may be the first true violent conflict against a U.S.-backed power in the region.